Now, with Scotland having closed its harbours to cruise ships, Northern Ireland is becoming a much more popular destination for holidaymakers in 2021. Our reporter James Mahon has been finding out about the impact it's having on our economy. Celebrity Silhouette has sailed the seven seas, from the Med to the Caribbean, and now, after a multi-million pound COVID-proof makeover, she's in Belfast. You know, we have a lot of North American guests, we have international guests, but the North American guests always, always want to come and visit Belfast. So we're going to be turning here at least six times, if not more, this summer. Uh, we will be continuing to turn in Belfast as well as we go into 2022. The cruise industry was one of the biggest casualties of the pandemic, and guests visiting Belfast are now kept in COVID-secure bubbles on board and on shore. We're also asking for all of our guests to be PCR tested for adults 18 and over, and for 17 and under, we're doing antigen tests. It's not massively imposing having the same restrictions on board as you do on land in terms of wearing masks and physical distancing, but I think when you're on a ship that you, which everybody is double vaccinated and everybody has had a negative PCR test, you know, you, following government guidelines, it should be possible to just say, look, take off your masks, you know. The cruise industry is worth an estimated £10 billion to the UK economy, with poor calls bringing in six figures to cities just like Belfast. And that has knock-on effects for bars, restaurants and, of course, bus tour operators. The last 12 months haven't been so much fun. The last month has been a little bit better as we slowly start to see some recovery. Belfast tour groups have focused on the domestic market to try and stay afloat in the last few weeks. We were lucky too as the official coach provider for the Irish Football Association because it's an essential service with elite level sport. We got a little bit, little bit of work through that. But aside from that, everything was take, taken away from us. There just was nobody to, to go on tours or travel on coaches. Cruise liners are optimistic they will be able to double the number of passengers who can disembark in Belfast in the coming weeks if given the green light, with current capacity limited to 1,000 guests. James Mann, UTV Live.